On today's show, Mercedes introduces the updated plug-in version of the S-Class. Ford says it's working on making vehicle parts out of graphene, and NHTSA wants to test self-driving cars without pedals and a steering wheel on public roads. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the voice of the global automotive industry. Currently in the U.S., autonomous vehicles without a steering wheel, pedals, and mirrors are barred from operating on public roads. But in order to safely introduce those types of vehicles, NHTSA is considering launching a pilot program that would allow automakers to test a limited number of self-driving cars. The agency says the real-world data would help it write rules for autonomous vehicles and allow it to create ways to validate their safety. NHTSA will work with state and local governments to help develop the pilot program. But last year, the House of Representatives passed legislation to speed up the introduction of autonomous cars, but it wasn't approved by the Senate and likely won't be voted on this year. And that's why NHTSA is looking to launch the test program. General Motors has set a goal of powering all of its facilities around the globe with 100% renewable energy by 2050. It's already making progress and says it will be at 20% of that goal by the end of this year. It's partnered with CMS Enterprises, which is part of Consumers Energy, to use wind power at several of its facilities in Ohio, Indiana, and Texas starting this month. And because of its efforts, the EPA recently ranked the company 76th in the top 100 list of the largest companies using green power. Still to come, a look at the new plug-in version of the Mercedes S-Class. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Exxon Mobil. The new plug-in version of the Mercedes S-Class will be launched in Europe this month, and here's a quick review of some of its features. Only available as a long wheelbase, the car is powered by a V6 gasoline engine, mated to a 9-speed transmission, and a 90-kilowatt electric motor. A new lithium-ion battery has around 50% more energy, but is actually smaller than previous packs. All electric range will be close to 50 kilometers, which is a little more than 30 miles. Pricing starts at just over 96,000 euro. Graphene is a recently discovered miracle material that has nearly an endless list of uses. And Ford just announced it's using graphene in some very unique applications. Small amounts of the material will be used in fuel rail covers, pump covers, and front engine covers. The material helps in the areas of durability, sound resistance, and weight reduction. Normally, to get the same results, an automaker would need to use more material, which would add more weight. But that's not the case with graphene. Ford says by the end of the year, there will be about 10 underhood components on the Ford F-150 and Mustang that use the material, and will eventually be featured in other models as well. If you'd like to learn more about graphene, we dedicated an Autoline After Hours show to the material back in June. Speaking of AAH, make sure to tune in to tomorrow's show when we take a deep dive into the new Ford Edge ST, the first utility vehicle Ford's performance team has been able to get its hands on. Also sitting in on that show is Nick Miles of OurAutoExpert.com. So join us at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming up next, Bosch and Ford electrify commercial vehicles in Germany. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. Bosch, the giant German supplier, is launching a car sharing service in its home country that will use electric vans. It's teaming up with the hardware store Toom to allow customers to book the vans with an app and then transport whatever they've purchased back to their homes. The new service will launch at five locations starting in December. And speaking of electric vans, Ford has partnered with the delivery company DHL 
to provide it with electric vans based on the transit. The vehicles are built to DHL's street scooter van specifications and will operate in Germany. Ford just started production at its plant in Cologne, Germany, and says it has the capacity to build 3,500 annually. Battery capacity of up to 76 kilowatt hours provides a maximum range of 200 kilometers or about 124 miles on a single charge. And compared to diesel powered models, each van can save 1,900 liters of fuel annually or about 500 gallons. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please join us again here tomorrow.